generator charge. Uh, well, you have all of you guys will have in here in the house box there will be your RCD, which is your output, and there'll be a, a switch right next to it. That's your generator input, which is always turned off. You only turn it on when you need the generator. There'll be a cable coming out, a mail plug, of course, meaning it has to go into something that delivers power. That's for your generator. Put an extension lead on that, get it to the generator, fire up the generator. Once it's running, apply the switch, and then it, you should see things begin to charge. If you, for some reason, have a weak generator and there's problems, issues with the machine, you can actually go into this uh, menu here on the mate and order a reduction of how much you take from the generator. That's a programming feature it has. To do it, you have to go to lock and then it'll ask you for the password, which is always 141. I'll just do that while I can see something up here. 141. You press the center, enter, and you go into setting. And you, again, you press the enter. And oh, that was not right. Setting. Here we go. There, enter. And you go into the inverter. Enter. And menu number one AC input and current limit. That's where you can set. Here's set for generator because it's a standalone system. You see my charger AC limit is set for five and a half amps. So if you scroll down, you can see I can use the sprocket wheel to go down there until there. Whoops, 5.5. I can then highlight it and now I can write in it. You highlight by pressing the central button. And once you've done what you want to do, you commit your write again.